Hey, fourth and fifth grade, welcome back. And today is Thursday, our day, best day of the week. Um, I hope that you are excited. Um, this project's really awesome. Um, and it's a good way to end, um, or as we're getting closer to the end of the year, it's a good way to end the rest of the year. Um, this project's gonna take three weeks, count it, one, two, three, three weeks. Today we are drawing, next week we're drawing and outlining, and then the week after we're adding color. So. Um, we are doing something really cool. Um, this is called an autobiography map. And I know y'all know what a map is because y'all look at them in social studies and in class. Um, and a map has a few parts to it. A map has a legend that tells you north, south, east, and west. A map has a key that usually will tell you if it has pictures on it, um, it'll tell you, hey, this little picture of a triangle is representing a tree. Um, or this little... Um, wave or water droplet represents a lake or pond. Um, so we're going to be doing those kinds of things on our map. Um, it's an autobiography map, which means, you know, autobiography, if you can remember um, talking to Miss Reyna, um, autobiography stands for um, a, uh, a story of your life written by you. Um, so you are creating this map about you. So it's your autobiography about your life. Um, this map's gonna have a lot of cool things on it. Um, you can talk about, or you can draw pictures of your memories, maybe a favorite memory. I have a favorite memory on mine, um, my 10th birthday. That was my favorite memory of my birthdays. Um, you can do things that you love, seasons. I have Christmas on mine um, or Halloween. You could do your favorite foods. If you like books and movies, you can do something like that. If you like Diary of a Wimpy Kid, maybe you can tie that in. I have some things like um, pillow hills. I love to collect pillows. I know that sounds silly, but I've got pillows on my couch, pillows on my bed, pillows outside. Trust me, your moms know. I know your moms know you love pillows because I love pillows. Um, so they love pillows too, I know it. Um, all right, so um, a lot of different things. I have, I got engaged this year. Um, so I have engagement mountains. That's something that's brand new um, that I added. It's a good memory. Um, I added islands to represent all my cats that I've had in my life that I love. Um, so you have to brainstorm. We are starting with a brainstorm this week. Okay, um, you're gonna start with that. So you're gonna have to write out some things that represent you. I have books and movies, piano and music. So I used to play piano and I love music. Food, um, hot sauce, I love hot sauces. They're my favorite. So I created a hot sauce volcano. Um, in my how-to video, I'm gonna explain some things and I know I go really fast, but you, know, you can pause when you need to. You're doing your first letter of your name. Okay, I'm trying to go quickly because I feel like my friends are about to show up and um, I need to get ready for fourth grade. So um, I started with my letter. This is the letter A, okay? A for Allison, A for Miss Alvarez. Um, and with that, I then filled in my map, okay? And I'm gonna explain in detail all of these things on my map. Um, and so I think you're really going to enjoy this lesson. Um, so autobiography, that means you are telling your story. Um, it doesn't have to be a story, just things that you love about yourself. Um, it can be a lot of different things, but uh, I think you're gonna really enjoy this. So we're gonna have a legend, a key, and a map. Um, I know all your teachers are like, oh my gosh, Ms. Alvarez, you're teaching about a map. It's gonna be great. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited about this, friends. I know you're gonna enjoy it. Um, Take your time, okay? You have a ton of time to do this. We have three weeks to get it done. Um, we are starting with the drawing today, um, and then we're drawing our key and our legend next week and outlining, and then the week after we're adding color. So this is pretty fun. Um, I've never done this lesson before, but when I saw it, I knew I had to do it. I knew you guys would like it. So um, I'm gonna send you over to the how-to video here. It is a little bit longer. This video is a little bit longer and I'm sorry, um, but you need a pencil and a paper right now um, and an eraser if you've got one. And yeah, enjoy this lesson. I will see you soon. Have a fantastic rest of your week and a restful weekend and I will see you soon. Bye guys. Hey guys, okay, before I even get to the how-to video. <laughs> so as I'm editing this, like I'm realizing that like, a legend and a key are the exact same thing. Um, so you're gonna hear me talk about a legend, you're gonna hear me talk about a key, they're the exact same thing. They just tell you what items are on your map. Um, I was getting my brain confused with a compass. That's what tells you north, east, south, and west. Um, 
So just letting you know that my brain doesn't always think right. So a legend and a key are the exact same thing. And then you're going to add a compass to yours. Okay. Um, I have it in the Google slide. So as I'm editing and putting this together, I'm realizing that, um, yeah. Um, so, okay. Enjoy. Goodbye. Hey guys, um, welcome to your how to video today. Um, we are going to get started on our autobiography maps. Um, and I love this lesson, super, super fun. I'm still working on mine. Um, I started another one and then I realized I didn't love it. Um, so I started working on another one. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna stop and start recording because I want to talk to you guys about some of the things and problems that I ran into um, and how I created this. So I started with the letter of my name um, and my first letter of my name is an A, A for Allison, and, um, or A for Ms. Alvarez, whatever you wanna call it. But um, I started in A, and then I decided to brainstorm. So I talked in the video that um, you need to brainstorm, brainstorm some things um, about you and things that you remember, whether it's a memory or things that you love. So let me turn this around and show you some things I've brainstormed. Um, and up here it says 10th birthday at the lake. That was my favorite birthday, um, favorite birthday party. Um, so I'm gonna create a lake on my um, map that represents that day. I've got Gato Islands or Cat Islands, and those are all the cats I've had in my life that I really, really love. You guys know I love cats. Um, Engagement Mountain. I am engaged, so I will be getting married soon, but that was a big moment in my life um, that I felt would be cool to put on my map. Art Materials Forest. You know, Miss A loves art things. Love to teach it. Love to collect them. So I'm going to create a little forest with art materials. I added Christmas down there because that is my favorite holiday. Um, so I am going to create a little bridge on my map that connects like land to land um, with a, a candy cane. It's going to look like candy cane, so it's going to be red and white. Um, I put piano and music. I used to play piano when I was a kid, and I really love music. Um, it's one of my favorite things. I love to find new artists and listen to new types of music. Um, so I'm going to create a bridge that looks like a piano that's going to connect, you know, land over water. I put books and movies. I'm going to create a library, a floating library, like a little island that's going to have books and movies. And then I put pillow cushion hills. I love pillows. I buy lots of pillows all the time, whether they're from my couch or my bed or my patio. I love pillows. So I thought I'm going to create a pillow cushion hill. Um, and then food city. We all love food. I'm going to create a city with some food, um, some buildings that have food on top of it. And then um, I'm going to create one other thing that I kind of thought was fun. Um, I'm going to create a volcano, but it's going to be hot sauce volcano. Um, and I thought it would be fun to like create a little volcano and the red coming out of it could be hot sauce. Um, I love hot sauces. I love to make hot sauce, um, whether it's like hot buffalo sauce or like salsa. So I love all sauces. Um, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to stop there for now because I want to explain how I created the um, map. Um, this week we are just doing our 10 things. Um, next week we're going to create the legend, which goes at the bottom of a map. If you guys, I know you guys have learned about maps. We're going to see all the things that need to go down there that represent each thing on our map. Um, and then we'll talk about that. So this week we're simply drawing. Next week we're gonna do the legend um, and then we're gonna outline and then the week after we'll add some color. So this is the next three weeks project. Pretty fun. Um, I wanted to do one last big thing before the end of the year starts to approach. Um, so for the next three weeks, we're working on our autobiography maps. Okay, um, all right, so here we go. Um, I am going to start with my letter. Um, and I'm going to explain some things. I'm going to zoom in and zoom out. Um, and you guys are going to start with a big letter. Uh, whether it, your name is Emily and it starts with a big E, you're going to create an E. Um, whether your name is Brayden and you're going to make a big B. Um, or whether your name is Valerie and it's a big V. Okay. So let's zoom in here. I created my big letter. Um, it could be a bubble letter. It could be a block letter. Um, but it has to have space on the inside. Okay, so I want to explain some things that I've made here. Okay, I'm zooming in here. Sorry if it wobbles a little bit. Um, all right, so let's start with the lake. Okay, um, I did my 10th birthday. I created a lake with a little diving board. Um, it looks kind of like a pool right now, but I'm going to add some little trees around it and some rocks. Um, that lake was at my aunt's house, and I thought it was the funnest, most, best, um, amazing 
birthday that I ever had. I had all my friends there and we had a good time. Um, all right, so the next thing on my list was Gato Islands. So I'm gonna create around here, let me zoom out really quick. Around my letter, you can see I've got all these little islands. Okay, they got little palm trees, that's a beach ball. Um, each of them represents a kitty cat that I've had. I'm gonna create one more island down here because I forgot about one of them. Um, and I'm going to just name them all after my cats that I've had in my life. Um, I don't have all of them now, but um, just saying, they're all the cats I've had in my life. So let's look at the next one, engagement mountains. I did little mountains up here and a little engagement ring that I'll color in um, that I thought was fun. Art Materials Forest is down here. You can see that I created little baby um, trees and then I added a pencil, a paintbrush, a marker um, that I will color in. I thought those were fun to kind of show, you know, like on a map, they don't draw the whole forest most of the time. They just add some trees to let you know that's where it's located. So I kind of did that too. What's next on my list? Christmas. This little bridge down here um, is going to be colored in like a candy cane, just to represent my favorite season. Piano and music. Here is the piano bridge. Okay, it's gonna link one side to the other on that inside of my A. Books and movies. Here is my library right here. I love movies, I love TV, I love books. Um, I love to read. Um, so I thought that would be really cool to add into my autobiography map. Pillow Cushion Hills is right here. You can see all my little pillows that I made. I'll color those in nice and colorful. Food City, you guys could pick that one out real quick. Food City, I did a lollipop, an ice cream cone, a taco, okay. And um, Hot Sauce Volcanoes, I have not made yet, so let's do those. Okay, so I'm going to add Hot Sauce Volcano. Let me zoom in here. I think I'm gonna put it right here. Um, I am going to create my volcano. And then I'll create all the little drips and drops because we're gonna make it look like it is erupting, okay? So I've got my little hot sauce volcano. Um, now we will label all these things and we're gonna talk about that next week. But for this week, I want you to really focus on your letter, your brainstorm map, okay? Um, and your drawings. Um, so when I look at a map, I think about a lot of things. Roads. So I created a road through my letter. And you know what? Now that I'm looking at this, I probably should have made the piano go this way, uh, which is okay. Um, I'll create a little road. And, um, you know, I created little bridges. Now these I'll color in brown so you can tell they're a bridge that go from island to island. Um, and, you know, these just these little bridges to walk on. Um, I also think of railroads. I'm going to add a little railroad, um, and I'm gonna put a little train station up here. Um, so whether I add little train, I know trains don't have wheels, but we're gonna choo-choo, okay. Uh, train, okay. Little train here, this is my train, okay. Um, I will add in some railroad tracks that maybe just take you from location to location, okay? And that, you know, and this little lesson here, overlapping is gonna be a big thing, okay? So don't be afraid to let things overlap, okay? Um, we'll go over, there'll be another bridge right here for my railroad, they'll go by the volcano, over by the cushions, and through and we're gonna end it right over here for now okay so that'll be my little railroad I'll add those designs in there when I can um, so there's not much explaining okay except for me or so much as me doing a how-to I wanted to show you my example so that you can kind of look at it and in the little um, Google slides that I added there's a ton of other examples um, that you can see and some of the other examples are more about like their favorite memories more than um, things about them. Um, so I thought this was a fun way to kind of, kind of, I can't even speak today, my friends. Um, I thought this was a good way to kind of incorporate maps and art and things that we have learned. Um, so like I said, this week we're focusing on things about us. Okay, I made my brainstorm map. That's the first thing you're gonna do today is a brainstorm map. Think of some things that represent you. What, whether it is a favorite memory, I did a favorite memory. 
Um, and then I also did things that, you know, are happening in my life, things that are really big. If you're a soccer player, maybe you scored your first goal. Maybe you have goalie, um, goalie hills or um, goalie planes where you create, um, or the goalie pyramid, something cool like that that goes with your memory or your favorite time in your life. Um, something that, it, you know, that it also explains you, um, if you love Harry Potter, maybe you put a castle on your map and it is um, Hogwarts Castle. And uh, maybe you love Halloween. Maybe you have the, the Halloween candy forest. Uh, and then you think about other things that, you know, some of you guys love to do. Some of you love to draw. Some of you love to paint. Um, maybe you have the painting... Um, the painting ocean where there's lots of blobs of paint in the ocean for you to paint from. Use your imagination here. You've got a lot of things to brainstorm. Um, I could still brainstorm a lot of things here. Let me put a few, like three bullets and I can add those really fast. Um, some of, hold on, let me sit because, so that I can write. Some of my favorite things, you guys know that I love sugar skulls. Um, I could do um, sugar skull pyramids okay I might do that one um, and let me add that here let me make sure that we're still in the frame okay um, I'm gonna do my pyramids right here okay sugar skull pyramids and I will add um, a little sugar skull on there that does not look like a sugar skull it looks like an alien okay let me do a bigger one so that I can add my little sugar skull. Okay, that's my little skull. Don't make fun of it. <laughs> um, okay, I added a little sugar skull. Um, for my sugar skull pyramids, um, let's see what else I can add on here. There's usually tons of stuff you can add. Um, you know, one of my favorite things growing up, guys, is um, where I'm from. I'm from New Braunfels, which is not very far from here. Uh, and we used to have a carnival. We have a carnival every year. It's called the Comal County Fair. Um, and I love, love, love the fair. It's one of my favorite things. So I am going to do a carnival. And it doesn't have to be tied to anything, but that's one of my favorite things. And it is tied to a memory. So I think I'm going to add a little Ferris wheel. I think I'm going to put the carnival way down here. Okay, little Ferris wheel. And I am going to... Add that here and add the little spokes to the Ferris wheel. And let's see here and add the little, you know, the little things you sit in. I don't know what they're called. The little buckets, maybe buckets. Okay. I add a little carnival um, and then maybe I add a little tent. Okay. To kind of represent the carnival tent. It's kind of like a, you know, like a circus or a tent, one of the circus tents. Okay, I'll color those in different um, colors. Um, and then let's see, one more thing that I can show you on here to kind of show you how to create your, your brainstorm map. Um, let's see, what's something else that Miss A loves, loves, loves? I do love color. So let's do the color flower fields. Okay color flower fields. Let's do it right here. Um, so that way when people walk across this bridge, they can enter into fields. I'm going to do some flowers. Okay. Um, and then we're going to make the flowers really colorful. Um, because you know, I love color, love fun things. And if you get stuck friends, you know, um, one thing I did when I first started my first map, um, and I was doing my brainstorms, I kind of was like, okay, I'm running out of things. I've got hills, I've got a forest, I've got a city, I've got a lake, I've got all these things. I'm running out of stuff. So I looked up maps and I kind of started just looking at what maps had on them. You know, there's a lot of different things. The plains, the wild, like there's, you know, the wild plains, they've got mountains, there is oceans, there's all kinds of things to look at. So if you get stuck, start looking at maps. Okay, look up a map of the United States. Look up a map of, um, you know, Germany or Iceland or a map of Africa. Different things that you can see different areas. And um, just to kind of look as well, um, you can look up the... Oh, excuse me. 
Oh my goodness. Um, you can look up the key. So like I, I, I said this wrong. There's going to be a legend. Okay. A legend. And then there's going to be a key. The key is what tells you what's all over your map. Okay. Um, you can look up maps with a key and I'll put that in the Google slide for you to see um, so that you can kind of also browse those to make sure you kind of have a lot of the same things. Now, if you have blank spots, okay, so like I do right here, let me zoom in. I know the lighting's not the best right now in my classroom, um, but like up here, I have a bunch of blank spots. I might just add some just some designs, okay? You could even do triangles. You know, triangles stand sometimes for trees when you look at the keys, um, just to fill in some space here. So let me recap really fast, because I know I talked really fast and there's a lot of information, a lot of things at one time. Um, all right, so today you are working on your letter autobiography map. And again, don't forget autobiography um, is, you know, about you and it's biography. Now, um, you're going to create your letter, okay? Whether it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever it is, okay? Um, you're gonna leave a space at the bottom for a key and for a legend, okay? I lied, I'm not gonna put my other um, island right here, I'll move it over here. But you're gonna put a legend here which tells you north, south, east, and west, okay? Um, you're going to brainstorm today. After you draw your letter, that's all you're drawing to start with is your letter, and you're gonna start to brainstorm. Um, I chose, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen 10, 13 things to put on my map. You don't necessarily have to have 13, but the more filled your map is, the cooler it looks. Okay. Um, use the stuff around you. Use it around your letter too. This is, could, this can be ocean. Okay. If you like Dr. Pepper, it could be a Dr. Pepper ocean. Okay. Um, so we are doing our letter, all the things that we brainstormed, um, be creative as much as you want with your ideas. Again, hot sauce volcano, food city, okay? Art supplies or art materials forest. I've got a carnival. I've got sugar skull pyramids, okay? Um, I'm gonna add, I added a railroad. I added a road, a regular to drive on, a regular uh, driving road. And then I added bridges to get to each island, okay? This is a really cool project, guys. Um, I... When I saw this project for the first time, I thought, oh my goodness, fourth and fifth grade would love this. So I'm really excited for you to try this. Um, we're starting with the pencil drawing always only. So brainstorm, okay, and draw. That's it. Next week, we're doing the legend and the key and outlining. And the week after, we are doing our color, okay? So enjoy this. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out um, or email me. Um, I'm trying really hard, my friends, to respond back on Schoology, but sometimes it gets lost. You know, I have a lot of notifications, um, so please be patient. Uh, but yes, if you have any issues, um, please call or reach out and I will help. All right, guys, make sure to snap a picture and upload to Schoology and I will see you soon. I can't wait to see your maps. Enjoy. Bye.